All right, hello, citizens of the Magiverse. It is Magic once again, and this again me another wrestling review. So, of course, for the month of July, we are are looking at the Monday Night Wars, the a period of time I'm over for, uh, six or seven years, is where WWE and WCW went head to head with uh, Monday Night Raw and WCW Monday Nitro. Oh, uh, oh, and uh, <coughs> and including their events as well. Oh, and. And uh, this match, or this event, might be perhaps one of the most important for a variety of reasons. Not just for WCW, but in a way, WWF. So, oh, so what had happened within this legendary match? Let's find out. I'm, of course, talking about how WCW Bash the Beach as the Outsiders and their, their mystery third man take on Team WCW. W, who, uh, who, uh, three guys from WCW standing up, up and fighting for the honor of WCW, who that being, being, uh, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Sting, and Lex Luger. So, of course, as always, I'm not professional, not professional wrestling reviewer or analyst or anything like that, just a man who enjoys a good time, and, and admittedly, he pretty solid time, maybe not for the fully intended reason, and, uh, and for the intended reasons, but also not for the intended reason. Uh, what do I mean by that? Let's uh, let's get into it and find out. But in the meantime, if you've seen these reviews of mine before, you kind of already know how this works. If you haven't, let me talk about what I liked and disliked about the match. Starting with what I liked, the big thing, that being the, the heel turn of uh, Hulk Hogan. So, oh, this match, of course, the third man for uh, for the outsider or is, uh, was, of course, there's uh, Hulk Hogan, and uh, and who. Who uh who uh, helped them form the NWO, the New World Organization, and, uh, at first before it morphed to the New World Order. Although he did also say New World Order within his uh, promo here. Although I wonder if that was edited in post. I was uh I was I couldn't tell if it was edited. Uh, probably because I wasn't paying that close attention to who uh at least how the words were put in. But uh, but nevertheless, uh the formation of that. But. Let's back up a little. How do we get at here? Or well, or well, oh, earlier on in 1996, both both uh, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall jumped ship from WWE, the uh, slash WF at the time, to WCW, who uh, who uh, oh, for uh, more, uh, mainly for you know more pay and everything, which it's why a lot of people jump ship uh, from WWE to WCW. Who, uh, who, uh, but it makes sense, of course. Of course, uh, course, and they were positioned as outsiders, invaders coming in, and and they couldn't really use their WWE names. names. Uh, in fact, the fact that they kind of tried to play into the storyline that uh, that they were still part of WWE and were just invading WCW, that got them a lot of trouble from WWE. He, uh, WWE he, uh, uh, slash WF uh, threatened to sue. Uh, WCW, who for that, and so that eventually, that eventually uh, phased out. Uh, but, but still, the outsiders remained, and and, and you couldn't call them um, uh, Diesel and Razor Ramon, of course. Whereas eventually they would go by the real names uh, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, respectively. Yeah, but uh, here they were kind of referred to as, as the outsiders for the majority of the match. They're referred to as the outsider, or as, uh, or as they refer to them as outsiders, invaders, what have you. Who they do occasionally call them Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, but oh, but for the most part they're referred to as outsiders. Here's, uh, me, meanwhile, oh, I believe uh, there was a. A, a lottery, if I'm not mistaken, he can, uh, yeah, a random drawing, and, uh, and, uh, so, but Randy Savage, Sting, and Lex Luger were teamed up to take on, uh, to take on, on these invaders, or, uh, or, uh, these outsiders, uh, so, oh, well, it's gonna be a three-on-three, three, but, yeah, at first, it's the three members of Team WCW, who, and, who and then uh, the three and then just the two outsiders. There's, uh, and for a while, it's a three on two handicap. Uh, uh, for a little bit, it's a three on two handicap. Uh, 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 with them saying the th the third guy is in the building, but he'll be here when he's here. Or, uh, or, uh, but but earlier on in the match, like towards the beginning of the match, Lex Luger is taken out, uh, and they try to explain it in a way that um, they try, try to explain a way that. Um, uh, that at at uh, is because of the stinger splash. Sting actually hit Lex Luger, or so Luger was holding Kevin Nash in the uh, position, and then Sting went for the stinger splash in the corner and nailed Lex Luger. So Lex Luger had to take it out. He was burning out and everything, 
and at least he's uh he's uh kind of two jokes slash observations and uh, i want to make here for starters at least they didn't put like the uh oxygen mask over his nose like they did mjf actually he didn't have an oxygen mask i just wanted to make that joke but uh, the other thing is is you look at the tape kevin nash Ash, e even like probably in reality, but also even in kayfabe, Kevin Nash definitely got the worst of that uh, stinger splash. Kevin Nash got hit way more than Lex Luger did, but Lex Luger's out. He's carried off. He's like, nope, you can't continue. We gotta carry him out of here. So it then becomes the two on two. Who then and eventually he uh, he as the outsiders are getting the upper hand, hand uh, and uh, both teams going at it. Then Hulk Hogan makes his appearance and as he walks out. Then of course the legendary moment. Hitting the leg drop on Randy Savage, turning heel. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, as fans begin to throw garbage into the ring, and uh, Mean Gene comes in, asks Hogan about his actions. Hogan pretty much is talking about how he pandered to the fans and how he built up WCW and the reception he got when he came out. You can all stick it, brother. Does that mean Hogan was going to be on WCW side right, uh, right until he saw? Uh, fans booing him because, as if that's the case, the fans are cheering him, him uh, because they thought, oh, Hogan's a good guy, he's coming to the rescue. <laughs> so, uh, what, what are you talking about, Hogan? But, but, uh, but Hogan saying he's aligning himself up with these new guys, uh, the outsiders that being uh, obviously Kevin Nash and Scott Hall and the New World Order organization, what have you, who uh, who is formed. So, the historical significance of the match is really what elevates it. It's really the only reason why you're here. Or, uh, or to see the historical significance is because it was a very big moment. Hulk Hogan had turned heel for the first time since the 70s. He's, uh, he's uh, this new, new stable who, uh, with hit arguably the top guy in the company, he uh, was formed. And, and of course, first in hindsight, as we'll move into more as we continue our Monday Night Wars analysis, is... Uh, it, is, uh, it was a, a very, very big deal uh, for WCW. Who now, getting into kind of the, what I didn't quite like about the match as much, or kind of the least less significant stuff, the historical significance is so great that the rest of the match is a foregone conclusion. Is it a bad match? Not really. It's just kind of... It's just kind of okay. Like, like it's it's there. there. There's action, and it's not like the worst thing ever. It's just kind of eh for the most part. It's it's okay. Hey, but the historical significance is what uh, puts it over the top and puts it towards that upper echelon and moves it up towards that upper echelon. It really it really propels it and uh, balloons it up up to make it a bigger uh, deal. Deal like like uh, without the historical significance, the match would have been okay. But the history is what you're there for. Or, uh, or uh, it's just too bad that they kind of almost gave it away. You know, people talk about the the uh, the major moment where they give it away, where or, uh, uh, where or, uh, or, uh, as Hulk Hogan's coming out, J oh, I believe it was Bobby Heenan saying like, "Yeah, well, whose side is he on?" Like, like Tony Schiavone, he uh, he uh, and company are. Uh, Tony Schiavone and Dusty Rhodes are excited to see him, and they're like, Hulk Hogan's coming, yeah, Hulk Hogan to the rescue, yeah, it's Hulk Hogan, Hulk Mania, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, and then, uh, and then Bobby Heenan's like, yeah, but who size you on? On, like, people who, uh, well, it's been brought up, people do uh, bring it up as kind of like a dead giveaway, and yeah, but at the same time, I'm, it also does make sense, Bobby Heenan, always critical of what Hulk Hogan's done. i uh, never been a fan of Hulk Hogan, even back in WWF, at least in kayfabe. I don't know if that was uh, sim uh, similarly the case in real life. I it very well could have been, but uh, 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 with Bobby Heaton being one of his uh, biggest critics, like it probably wouldn't make that much sense for Bobby Heaton to all of a sudden be on Hulk Hogan's side, or at least if he is on Hulk Hogan's side, be under arrest. Like, uh, you know, uh, as much as I, as much as I hate to see, as much as I hate Hulk Hogan, I'm glad he's here to help out WCW. And then once uh, Hogan drops the leg, then commentary just rips into him, just is totally uh, rips into him, rips about how awful he is, how much of a bad person he is. Like the way they were going on, you would have thought he shot a puppy, but. Uh, there is another moment that kind of gives it away where Dusty Rhodes and Tony Giovanni t are talking about a bad feeling they're having. They're talking about, oh, you, you ever get that? Uh, this is literally what they say, like, hey, uh, talk about, you ever get that feeling like something bad's gonna happen, something really bad's gonna happen? Pretty much the amount of times they mention it, pretty much telegraphs, hey, hey guys, guess what? Someone's turning heel tonight. Right, uh, so oh, kind of a dead giveaway. Hey, in that regard as well. Oh, but otherwise, the moment's still there, the impact's still there, and the moment still stands, and that's what really 
brings it over the top uh, and makes it such a legendary match and a legendary moment. The match itself, like I said, it's just okay, hey, but it's definitely the moment that you're there for. But nevertheless, that's going to do it for this uh, review. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video, six season new drops, and let me know in the comment below your thoughts on the match, my review of the match. If you like, like the match, do like, like my review of the match, let me know. Oh, and and uh, stay tuned for more in the Monday Night Wars and more uh, wrestling reviews adjacent to the Monday Night Wars. But nevertheless, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.